afternoon and welcome to the 106th commencement ceremony of Hall High School. In these unprecedented times, we celebrate the class of 2020. This class has been through one of the most interesting school years in history, and I applaud the class of 2020 for handling the end of their senior year in the best way possible. I would like to take this time to thank all the students of Hall High School for their dedication over the past year and especially these seniors for their four years. Thank you to the wonderful staff for providing the best possible education for our students. Thank you to the parents and guardians who have entrusted these students to be with us over the past four years. Your support and guidance has helped these seniors complete their journey through high school. Most importantly, thank you graduates. This class has come a long way over the past four years and their journey is only beginning. Best of luck to all of you, and remember, it's a great day to be a Red Devil. It is my pleasure to present the salutatorian for the class of 2020, Regina Scarpese. Hello, and welcome to the class of 2020's graduation. On behalf of my classmates and the staff here at Hall High School, I would like to thank you for coming here today. This day is a special day that some of us thought would never come. And because of a request from a classmate, I will try to avoid the elephant in the room. Graduation is something that many of us have been looking forward to for the past four years. Even as freshmen, we couldn't wait to don the caps and gowns, receive our diplomas, and go off to college. Before I get ahead of myself, I would like to take some time and thank the people who helped us get here today. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank all of the teachers that arrived well before some of us even deigned to wake up. To thank all the teachers that may have slipped in a little later than they were supposed to, but stayed well after that final bell to thank all of the amazing staff and faculty that helped us choose classes or give us a small push in the right direction. I would also like to thank all of our coaches over the past four years for showing us what it means to be a part of a team in teaching us how to go beyond our current breaking point. I would like to thank our parents, blood and chosen, who helped shape us into the young men and women that sit before you today to thank them for all those hours that they spent listening to us complain about class and the time they spent helping us with those harder homework questions. And lastly, I would like to thank you, class of 2020, because without you today would just be another day of the week. It is through your hard work that you have made today so special. And not only graduation, but our four years that led to this moment. It may sound cliche, but we are more than friends now. We are a family. And like a family, we have fought and bickered with each other. But at the end of the day, we shake off the fight and are ready to enjoy each other's company again. Our time at Hall has come to an end, but that doesn't mean we have to be sad. We have come a long way from the annoying, immature freshmen that we were. We have matured so much and come so far. We are the class that is quick to band together and overcome every obstacle that comes our way. To comment on the character of this class is to say that we are perseverant, passionate, and always, always up to the challenge. Since freshman year, we have taken to winning all the eating competitions at stadium games. We show an energy when super fanning at our home games and we bring the fun to each dance that we go to. We are so powerful when we put our minds to it, and I think that all of the people here see it too. In you, I see our future. Future nurses and teachers, engineers and scientists. In you, I see a force to be reckoned with, because when and if you put your mind to something, it turns out better than anyone could have possibly imagined. We were a class born into a broken world after the tragedy of 9-11,
and we are graduating in the midst of a pandemic. But not once have we let this world break us. We have never let it push us around or let it decide who we are to become. And that is why I know that each and every one of us will succeed in whatever we decide to do. In 20 years, we, a little older and wiser, can always return to this school and find friends and family. Because once a red devil, always a red devil. And finally, I would like to leave this speech on a positive note and give you all some advice. And like a typical high schooler, I Googled some. Here were the most helpful that I found. One, always make your bed each day. It may seem a bit old fashioned, but if you make your bed every morning, then at least you can go to bed knowing that you accomplished something. And sometimes a small act can lead to better habits and better habits to a better life. There is always a reason to smile. Even in our darkest moments, there is something that can spark joy, happiness, a reason to go on. Be open to change. Change is not an enemy to be afraid of, but a friend to help you on your way. Mistakes and failure, failures are not bad. These scars that you bear from your mistakes are not jagged pieces of rocks that are waiting for you to hit. But instead, they are lighthouses that help not only yourself, but also others that are in the same dark sea. Call your mom or dad every week. I'm sure that any parent or guardian will be happy to hear your voice, even if it is to complain about classes, friends, anything in the college life. Take the time to smell the roses. In life, we so often forget to slow down and enjoy it. Remember to give yourself plenty of personal time in college because it can be a stressful time. I'm sure there's plenty more of good advice out there, but frankly, I don't want to put anybody to sleep reciting it. If there's anything I want you to pull away from this speech, it's that you are a force to be reckoned with. Take the time to appreciate how far you have come. And remember that you will always have friends from Hall. So class of 2020, if you dare to join me, let's rattle the stars. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2020, Abigail Draper. As you may have guessed, I'm not the most eloquent, which is why I'm not the one with the English stole. First, I want to thank the teachers and staff. This has been a tough year, to say the least. But you all did what you could to make it the best it could possibly be. You provided meals and kept teaching us helping us stay strong to the finish. So, sincerely, I thank you. To my fellow students from the class of 2020, I offer this Tolkien quote. It's a dangerous business going out your door. You step into the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there is no knowing where you might be swept off to. I think I speak for all of us when I say that nobody knew where we would be swept off to this year. None of us had 2020 visions, so to speak. There's no way we could have seen this coming. For the entire first part of our lives, we held the belief that our senior year of high school would be our year. I know we didn't have the year we wanted. We didn't get the snow days we had hoped Mr. Green would predict. Instead, we got something entirely different. And now we're here, having a virtual graduation instead of one in person. I guess we all learned to be careful what we wish for. Despite all of this, when I think of my time at Hall, I no longer think of what our class has missed out on. Instead, I'm reminded of all the things that we did have. We had a typical freshman year, scared and excited to be somewhere new, and of course, dreading Shakespeare. We had a plain old, uneventful sophomore year, the way it should be. Junior year, the SAT, the Great Gatsby. We had a decent first semester of our senior year with a good dose of senioritis. That is, assuming we didn't get a junior year. 
we still had the normal high school experiences. The dances, the games, spirit week, assemblies, everything. Minus the normal senior prom, of course. But hey, we did get to dance in Senora Lawrence's class from time to time, so that has to count for something. Most importantly, we had the amazing teachers. Personally, I think they're one of the best things about Hall. They truly care about us students um, and show endless empathy. When you're called a pumpkin every day and asked how you're doing, you really start to feel special. To any underclassmen watching this, I strongly advise you to talk to the teachers and get to know them. Before you know it, you'll be the graduating class, leaving them all behind. The events this year have emphasized the importance of empathy in our lives. Now, I get this confused with sympathy all the time, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, so I looked up the difference. Sympathy is when you share the same feelings as someone else. Empathy is when, you're, when you understand their feelings. While we may not always share in what others are feeling, we should try our best to understand where they're coming from. The teachers here showed us empathy, and it's our job to pay it forward and show empathy to those around us. Hopefully, with empathy, we can make the world a better place, just like how the teachers made our school a better place. If nothing else, remember these things. We still had a great time in high school. The teachers and staff are always here for us. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and always show empathy towards others. Step out your door and go wherever the road takes you. The day is yours, kids. Good job, Abigail. It's my pleasure to announce the first graduate, president of her class, Perla Mariel Andana. Cecilia Aldana. Alexander Almarez Dorado. Anthony Joe Aranda. <laughs> Anna Catherine Argubright. Michael Anthony Arati. <laughs> Stephanie Arteaga. Jaime Avila Espinosa, Jr. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Bankus.
Hunter Cole Beckett. Megan Lynn Bernadoni. Paige Crystal Blackburn. Haley Lynn Brokaw. <laughs> Dalton Mitchell Rust. Caitlin Kathleen Kapranica. <laughs> Alexander Michael Castaneda. Tayana Colleen Katani. <laughs> Cecilia Marie Ceballos. Sarah Kafang, Victoria Crowsdale. Hunter Joseph Croizant. Trenton Michael Alexander Cummings. <laughs> Caillou Riley Dahl. Dylan Matthew DeJong. <laughs> Jeffrey Grant Delaney. Daniela Diaz Zazasti. <laughs> Brian 
Cheyenne Rose Dominic. Abigail Lynn Draper. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Duver. Alexandra Marie Easley. <laughs> Elizabeth Marie Edgecombe. Sarah Jean Alley. <laughs> Catherine Anna Fulmer. Brian Omero Fuentes. <laughs> Levi Joseph Ginter. Hannah Elizabeth Gates. <laughs> Hannah Jo Goodrum. Shayani, Ramona, Catherine, Gray. <laughs> Riley, Michael, Griffin. <laughs> Robert, Keith, Brollo. Jacob Patrick Grush. <laughs> Edith Gutierrez. Siaja Christine Hammonds. Woo! 
Avery Christine Hansen. Kendall Elise Hansen. Toby J. Harper. Jacob James Harris. Robert Joseph Harrison. Hannah Marie Catherine Hart. Austin Wade Heineke. Madeline Mahoney Holtz. Matthew David Holtz. Antoine Lee Jones. Hunter Brianna Jones. <laughs> Kennedy Marie Keegan. Rachel Allison Cobalt. Addison Stevie Konzak. Christopher Adam Kruger.
Gregory Richard Larson. Jasmine Maldonado Guzman. Gracie Ann Martinitis. Parker Ryan Matthews. <laughs> Jacob Kenneth Mendez. Andrew James Merkel. <laughs> Ryan Kevin Miller. Pablo Jesus Morales Garcia. <laughs> Daniel Ricardo Moreno. Destiny Jordan Sky Morgan Delau <laughs> Nathaniel Eric Mariki. Zachary Taylor Mazzarelli. <laughs> Olivia Marie Novero. Nathaniel Lee Nully. <laughs> Dominic Matthew Orlandi.
Elvin Payán. Jonathan Daniel Pels. Joseph Domingo Perez. Maxwell Yuan Fuentes. Grant Joseph Resetage. Jacob Tyler Reardon. <laughs> Travis Joseph Reardon. James Nelson Rodriguez. Marcus J. Safon. Montserrat Santiago. <laughs> Regina Christine Scarpesi. Calvin Lester Schmollinger. <laughs> Patience Elizabeth Stallings. Arlington Patrick Steenan. <laughs> Andrew Albert Vanko. Hannah Francis Banco. <laughs> Alex.
Alexander Bosick. Jacqueline Villalobos. Blake Bazone. Luke Jarek Volkert. <laughs> Marshall Hunter Walk. Garrett Logan Weathersby. <laughs> Jacob Lee Wilson. Alex Caden Winner. <laughs> Cole Ryan Wozniak. Daniel Yanis. <laughs> Members of the Board of Education, faculty, parents, family, and friends, at this time, it is my pleasure to certify that each of these students has completed the requirements necessary for graduation from Hall High School. Accordingly, it is with great pride that I present to you the class of 2020. <laughs>